Thor Love and Thunder has started production. They've started production in Australia. And who's directing this? Um Taika Watiti. Is is it him again? Yes, yes. A lot of people didn't like him because of what he, of what he did with uh, Ragnarok. I fucking loved it. I fucking loved Ragnarok. It was a different Thor. It's not yeah. the Thor we're used to, but it was entertaining. Yeah. That's all I fucking care. If you entertain me and do not insult my intelligence, yeah. I'm happy. Yeah. Okay. Same here. If you leave all these potholes and shit that doesn't make sense, yeah. I mean, you're insulting my intelligence, I'm not going to like it. It's got to be entertaining, and it's got to make sense. That's Look, what you got to do, Hollywood. I was watching the first Thor, and I saw how, like, they, they fucking, like, dyed his fucking eyebrows, too, to make him look more, like, uh, blonde. And his beard, too. And I was like, yeah, that doesn't, uh, that's not the Thor that I know, you know? And a lot of people love the fucking first Thor, and I thought it was boring as fuck. Yeah, because that's Thor is boring. He's Thor boring as hell. Oh, anthologies and... Demons and gods and exactly, and it's kind of boring, honestly. He's serious, yeah. He's serious and things like that. And then Taika Waititi made him different. Yeah, he made him funny and and witty. Yeah, and, and yeah, it, it wasn't Thor, but you know what? At that point, you have to get to you have to get to the fucking understanding that the MCU it's its own universe. Every character is different than yeah. the comic books, than the cartoons. Everything is a different universe. This is the way things are in this universe. Exactly. <laughs> we should tell that to fucking geese that don't like shit that comes out. It's not true to the comic book. I'm like, dude, it's it's a movie. It's not the comic book. If you wanna if you wanna see the real truth that you want, go back to the comic books. It's That's there. Six one six universe. That is the official name of the comic universe. Six one six. If that's what you want, go back to reading it. It's a big yeah. mess right now. The six one six universe in the comics is a big mess. Uh, I don't like it. I stopped reading comic books about a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. But I was always collecting, and, and but I was just done. I'm done. I like the MCU. We're getting off topic. <laughs> Thor, Love, and Thunder, they have seen Drax, De Bautista, and Nebula, uh, Karen Gillan, uh, on the set. So, confirms Guardians of the Galaxy will be in Thor, Love, and Thunder. Yeah. So, what's the name of it? The... Uh, it's, it's in the new comic book. Uh, not the new comic book, but it, it was in one of the comic books. Uh, the Guardian... No, one. Oh, fuck. I forgot the name. It's a, a play on word. It's a play on word. It's a Guardians of the Galaxy and then, like, the Thor universe. Asgardians of the universe. Asgardians of the Galaxy. The Galaxy. There you go. There you go. Asgardians of the Galaxy. Asgardians. So that's going to be that, basically. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, it is. But this is this is a Thor movie. This isn't the Guardians Part 3. It's not the Guardians Part 3. This is Thor movie. Remember that. Uh, this is not Guardians Part 3. They're going to make a Guardians Part 3, and, and, and James Gunn is set yeah. to fucking direct it, but it's not uh, It's not freaking Guardians 3. This is Thor, Love, and Thunder. The Guardians are just going to be in Thor, Love and, Th Love, and Thunder. Which I'm okay um, with. I just sent you some images. Yeah, I saw that. This is the villain of the movie, and he is Gore, the God Butcher, and he's going to be played by none other than uh, the prestige... Christian Bale. Christian Bale, man. That motherfucker can act. Look at these images. What do you think of this? He can pull it off. I mean, he's been fat. He's been skinny. He's been this. He's been that. Like, he can pull it off for sure. I'm excited to see what he sounds like. If he sounds like the way he sounded in that audio file... Shut the fuck up, Bruce. Do I want... No! No! Don't shut me up! If he sounds like that... <laughs> <laughs> I love it. He, uh, dude, honestly, I don't even. Yeah. I've never seen that fucking movie either. The Terminator with Christian Bell. Never seen it. Uh, I don't think. Yeah. 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 It was, it was okay. It was okay. Uh, but I guess they wrote it off of continuity. I don't know. That got lost in the in the Terminator continuity. Don't get on the subject. Gore the God Butcher. This is probably going to be one of the fucking strongest uh, villains Thor has fought in a while. Um, Where, what's his backstory? So his backstory is he was born on a planet with no fucking name. 
and uh, every day he, him and his family and his kind are, it's a barren wasteland. The whole planet, it just, I don't even know why they're even there. Why is there even life on a lifeless planet? I don't know. The, 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 this is comic books, folks. This is why shit does sometimes doesn't make any sense. He lives on his planet. That's why Jocky hate us. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck you, Jocko. Lift your weights. Anyways. <laughs> Every day they're on the brink of starvation. And uh, and they're always praying and they're and they're always praying to their gods. And it's like, we got to believe in the gods and the gods are going to save us. And um, mm -hmm. his pregnant mate gets killed. He, he during an earthquake, his children, they're, they're also fucking killed. And he's left alone. And he's always starving. And he's always suffered all his life. And... And he starts thinking, like, he gets angry. He gets fucking angry because he prays all the time and the gods never come and they never help. And then he starts thinking, like, then all this time, it's been a lie. There are no gods. Nothing exists. It's been a lie. We've been li believing in lies because nothing ever came to help me and my family and my kind. We stay, stay here and suffer and die. Well, one day... And this is in the comics, so I don't know how they're going to work this in the movie. One day, Thor is... He's fighting some guy, and they're fighting in space and being transported through universes and shit, through time and space. And and they fall through his planet. And they keep on fighting. And he's all like, what the fuck? And he sees Thor, and he sees fighting this guy, and they're flying around and, and, and magical powers, and he's all like, the gods are real! And then, boom, they disappear and, and they run off because, you know, they're fighting. And he's all like, all this time, the gods have been real and they've been listening and they've done nothing. And he gets fucking angry. Mm -hmm. um, and he comes into possession of this sword. And, and the sword's in one of the pictures that I sent you. It looks like a, it almost looks like, like, like it's venom, you know, like that liquid fucking black stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's a necro sword. And so he, he is this part of his body or what? Oh no, he, he he it becomes okay. It becomes like part of him, it like venom, like um, yeah, like, like a symbiote, like a symbiote, mm -hmm. basically, uh, like a symbiote. And so basically, from then on, he just takes revenge, and he's like, "I'm gonna kill all the fucking gods, starting with the one I just saw, and it was Thor." And he goes after Thor. And then that's basically what he is. Uh, now, obviously, it's going to be different in the MCU. It's not going to be like the comic books, but they're going to take stuff from the comic books. I'm just curious as to how they're going to work this. Uh, however they do it, I think Christian Bell is going to do a fucking fantastic fucking job. Yeah, he, uh, I, yeah, it's one of those things that I'm like, I'm not even going to bother to think about it. He's going to do a great job. Like, I'm pretty sure. He's going to be good. And yeah, the whole like religion behind the whole like, you know, I don't know, man, being <laughs> religious and not getting what you want. Well, not getting what you want, what you expect to get out of it. It's very fucking like, uh, you know, uh, you're familiarized with that shit, you know, because we're all humans, yeah. which is great. I think it's going to be if if, if, if this picks I up, go, but I don't know if they're going to go that route. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it looks good. Even his image with the whole like thing over his head and stuff. Yeah, yeah. He he seems like a religious freak. <laughs> All right. I need to get another beer. All right. So we're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back. Hey, if you like shit like this, check out the full podcast on the link to the right. And make sure you hit that like and subscribe button to stay tuned for our weekly podcast. Peace.